Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Andre Leo Clark is a statistic. I talk about them almost every day. I advise people who are poor to reconsider having a child. Reconsider it. It's cheaper to buy a condom. It's much, much cheaper to buy a condom. Reconsider having a child if you're poor, if you know you cannot take proper care of a living being. Reconsider. Put it off, okay? Andre Leo Clark decided that there was nothing else he was good at. Nothing else he could do. So what did he do? He robbed the sports club that was in his area. He robbed residences in his area. That's what he did. So I'm sure that since he was stealing from his neighbors, they know him. They see him. They know his name. They probably shout him every now and again. So in a way, he's robbing himself. He's stealing from, he's stealing from himself. He's doing harm to himself. When he turns on his neighbors and people in the area where he lives, Andre Leo Clark is a, st a statistic. Okay, it is he is the he is uh when you look at him and not looking at him like his features, but the things he has done, the things he has done, he becomes like someone that you can actually put the photo up and say, this is what happens when you don't plan for your children. This is what happens when you are poor and you're not planning for your children. It takes over a quarter of a million dollars to raise a child. Over a quarter of a million dollars to raise a child properly. Properly. Good education. Good food. Good home. Good everything, traveling, everything. It takes a lot of money, okay? So he becomes like the poster child for what happens when you feel as though you have nothing to lose and he's only 21 years old, only 21 years old. 21 years old. And he's at your hotel in St. Philip. Well, he's from St. Philip. So he, now he entered into the hotel in St. Philip. He'll, he'll be out of that hotel. That's what hotel, you, you can check in and you check out. Check in and you check out. You check in and you check out. And that's what's going to happen unless a light bulb goes off in his head. Something meaningful has to happen. Something radical has to happen for him to pull out of the cycle he's in. He's only 21 years old. 21 years old. Sherry Veronica.